kind of relaxing. Hello darlings, tomorrow we're flying to Korea. I've yet to pack though, and I have to leave the house in about an hour to run some errands, do this and that, and then come back. A lot to cram in today. Tomorrow, we just pack up some last minute things like toiletries and then head out to the airport. I'm gonna be bringing these two suitcases. Now, usually I just bring this suitcase when I travel abroad, but my husband and I, we're going to go on our honeymoon. So we're gonna share two suitcases. Okay, so it's March as I filmed this video and we're going to Korea for two weeks. I was checking the forecast because right now it's a transition between winter and spring. So I was like, how warm do I need to pack? The lowest it gets is 36 degrees Fahrenheit and then during the day it ranges from 50 to 60 degrees These are the clothes I might bring I just wanna be reminded. My go-to necklace I wear pretty much every day when I go out I'm probably gonna bring this jacket because it's pretty warm and it goes with like pretty much all of my other outfits I'm thinking the second week we're there it might warm up real fast so that's when I'll wear this outfit with cargo pants and can wear the belt with it this belt probably couldn't go with all my pants I'm bringing so it's a good piece it's got those little details on it embroidery or I could wear my cargo pants with this weekending shirt I mean this shirt can go with these jeans most of the items I'm bringing, you can mix and match with them so it's not like one outfit has to be all together You know, parts and pieces can go with another outfit So I have this in two colors The first color you saw it in outfit one I like to layer, so like I have a tank top underneath I'm gonna bring two or three tank tops The other tank top is this one This one's gonna be my slightly more formal outfit With my velvet top Ooh, shiny I just love the details on this Actually, it's not that formal, but it's more formal than my other outfits I've tried on My most formal outfit is gonna be this I mean black, it's a safe color for formal stuff And then I'm gonna bring one scarf And it goes well with my quilted jacket I've worn these together many times And then this necklace, actually you can adjust it in three sizes So this is the longest there's a medium and then a short in the back. There's like a necklace extending thing. I think that's gonna be my main clothes for the trip. And if we end up needing anything else, we'll do a little shopping. There's so many places to go shopping in Seoul. Oh, and this is gonna be my pajama for the trip. I thrifted it in New York City. And these are the shoes I'm gonna pack. And these are the shoes I'm gonna wear on the plane. And they're pretty comfortable and they age well. Like even if it gets dirty, it doesn't look that dirty. I'm gonna pack these flip-flops to wear at the hotel I bought these suitcases like, what, five, seven years ago? I forgot, I always keep a pair of flip-flops in here So these are just like the other flip-flops that I use on a regular basis Got it on Amazon I think it's by Old Navy though, but they sell it on Amazon So I stick this over here And in here, I always keep a trash bag for my dirty laundry and then I usually keep another trash bag in here for like shoes So actually, I'm gonna be bringing these flats So let's put it in this bag Suck that air out Spin it, twirl it, and boom! Now let's put all the outfits in So you know how the suitcase, it has like these ditches You know, it goes in around the bars Well, I'll roll up these jeans Fill up those holes Just roll it up Tightly as possible And these socks are made for the flats When you wear it, it's like quite thin It lines the perimeter of your feet Instead of covering your whole feet So it looks like you're not wearing any socks I'll put a bunch of links in the description box Of all the things I bought on Amazon Like these socks Now on this side is where the toiletries, the undies, and the socks go And as for underwear, I just chose like skin toned colors And I just roll them up And I'm not bringing like 14 days worth With underwear, I just wash it when I shower and then hang to dry All these socks, I'm gonna put it in a packing cube Personally, I like earth tone colors 
But when traveling, I like the bright stuff. So then like when I'm packing at the hotel or Airbnb or wherever, I don't miss it. White packing cube, it'll be like really nice and clean. But if it's gonna camouflage with the bed sheets and I don't see it, I'm probably gonna leave it behind. Swimming suit. Just in case we feel up to the swimming, let's talk about the personal bag. Usually when I'm on like a full on filming trip, I have a different bag I use and that's like pretty much just a functional bag. But for this trip, it is a honeymoon. I'm not carrying uh, my heavy camera. I'm carrying a different camera. And so I found a different bag that's gonna go with I think all my outfits, except for maybe the more formal ones. Typically this is the bag I use in everyday life and I've been using this bag since 2021, over three years. But it doesn't fit my camera. See, it's pretty thin. I also need to fit my passport, my phone, all that jazz. I found this on Amazon, which was a great price. And there's a lot of pockets. I love it. Pocket towards your body. So that would be a great place to put your credit cards, your cash, all that. Um, and then the main body, there's a big pocket and then two smaller pockets in there. Has so many compartments. Oh, and there's a strap thing here you could clip something onto. Anyway, I like the fact that you could put your cash and your credit cards towards your body. So even if someone like sliced the front, the money's on the other side. And then you can strap this on either side. So I like it. I like how it looks and stuff. But here's the thing. When I walk, it's kind of noisy. To some people, that's not going to be an issue. But to me, I'm like so aware of sounds. So it, it is pretty noisy to me, especially if you're walking in a quiet place, you're gonna draw attention. And I personally like to be discreet. However, I had someone who had bigger boobs than me try it. And when they walked, it didn't make as many sounds. So let me do a demo. Let's say I have big boobs, okay? Walk with my boob. Walking with big boob. It sounds like 50% quieter, at least. If I had enough time, I would actually take these off, these pull tabs, and then replace them to something quieter. See, you can move it around like this. The thing is, it's only like $25. For some reason, it was like on sale. So it ended up being like $16 on Amazon, which is like $16 for this. It's great. It's fantastic. I feel like I still want to use this bag because it's got all these pockets. It's, it's great. But this is so noisy. Maybe it'll be okay. I don't know. I found this other bag. This is more expensive and it doesn't have nearly as many pockets and it doesn't have a back pocket that's like towards the body. This one's $58 before tax. I got it at the AAA, which is where I got my IDP, the International Driver's Permit. You open it. This is the main compartment. It fits the camera I'm filming with right now. Both bags fit my digital camera. And then there's also this zipper area. That's a good place to put credit cards. So this is the designated area for your credit cards and stuff. More discreet, no sound. I might keep that first bag and replace the pull tabs or like cover the pull tabs with something. Ooh, I wonder if I wrap thread around it, if that'll help dampen the sound. And I also like the color of the other one. Like this is a deeper brown, you know? And this is lighter, more orangey. So I do like the color of the first one. Now that we've decided this is gonna be the personal bag, put my cards in here, passport in that main pouch, but in the back closest to my body, IDP. By the way, the IDP lasts for one year, starting from the date that you assign it. So this is the camera I'm bringing. Let me show you how it fits. So I gotta put my chapstick. I'm gonna put the chapstick in the smaller compartment. When everything's zipped up, Probably gonna keep it in the front most of the time. Feel the most comfortable this way. What else? Is that it? Well, I wanna bring this with me on the plane and spray it on my face throughout the flight. So I think I'll keep this one in the front. Got my Windsor and Newton pen, camera battery. For my carry on, I'm bringing my backpack. I love this backpack because it's very structured and they're compartments. So this bag is really good for putting in your cameras, your camera parts, your lenses. And these are removable. You can change up the size according to your needs. And then this zips up to keep everything in place. 
and then this side, this flap, is where you put the laptop. So this side touches your back, and you got the laptop closest to you, and then it zips up. And since I'm gonna do some editing on the road, maybe, well, I'm gonna be editing this video during the trip here and there, and I'm gonna bring my editing stuff. This is my main editing tool, and I've been using it for years, cutting clips. This one slices the beginning of a clip, end of a clip, and then my card reader and external drives to save files, camera files. Oh, and by the way, I recently got this selfie stick. There's this triangle at the bottom. You push it, and then it opens the legs out into a triangle, and then you can extend this and then you can put it somewhere far and put your camera here, your phone camera. And there's this remote control, small one that pops out. You connect it to your phone. And then when you have the iPhone at the end of this and you're away from the tripod, you push this and I'll take the selfie for you. This will be good when we go on the road trip from Seoul to, what was that city called? Sokchok. There might be nature areas that there aren't many people are gonna be able to like take photos for us. So this will be good. And I think that's about it. A lot of the items I bought through Amazon. So I'll put the links in the description box. I guess we'll work on the toiletries next. I got a new travel kit here. My old travel kit, I don't know where it is. I think it's at Mommy O's house. I love this color palette. It's a very happy color palette. And I also love how they give you labels Clear labels, day cream, night cream, eye cream, essence, and it also comes with this mini funnel. <laughs> I've never seen that come in a travel kit. And what is this? Oh, this must be to clean the bottles. Yeah, I'm guessing this goes in here. Oh, I kind of like that feeling. It's kind of relaxing. It feels cute. So we got four of these, and then four of these circular containers. Oh, and with this travel kit, it comes with two of these bottles. Okay, and then, oh, this must be for your creams, you know? I like this travel kit. It's, it's pretty uh, comprehensive. When I use shampoo and conditioners at hotels and Airbnbs, usually it's not conditioning enough and it leaves my hair really like tangled still. So I gotta pack my own. When you look at these, which color makes you feel more like, ooh, that's shampoo and ooh, that's conditioner? Conditioners tend to be white and which makes it feel more milky and this looks creamy-ish so let's put conditioner in that this one shampoo how many pumps one two three four twenty twenty all right let's label it shampoo ah, everything's falling press it on there Firmly get all the bubbles out so later when we wash it the label won't fall off Shampoo Conditioner This conditioner is not done by pumps. This one you just hand squeeze it. So should we just count? One, two, three, four, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Is that enough for 14 days? I don't know. Let's squeeze a bit more in there. If there's extra when we come back from the trip, I could just use it right out of this container. All right, let's label this one as well. Hair conditioner. Ding! Cleanser. This is my old bottle of cleanser. I still have some left in there. And I think I'm running low. That's why I bought this new one. But let's pump out the old one first into this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna put, let's see. I use like, every time I wash my face, I use one pump. Excuse oh, hi! Are we going to use your real name for the video, or are we going to make a fake name? Oh, that's interesting. Stage name. That's what we call it. Stage name. Okay, so I'm going to put minimum 28 pumps. And just in case some, some of it leaks, I they say it doesn't leak, but just in case it does, I'm going to put some extra. So I'll just put a little extra. Let's just put 36 pumps, right? Now I lost count. Let's just say I put 8 pumps so far. 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now let's put it all back together and then label it. Now this was the cleanser. Uh, let's look, cleanser, facial cleanser, number one. I'm gonna make sure my hand is dry so it stays adhesive. Oh, I love putting stickers on things. 
I especially love it when I have something to put the sticker on. That's the thing. You can have all the stickers in the world, but the question is, where do you stick them, right? You just run out of places. That's the. When it comes to like direct skin stuff to keep on all day, I like to keep it in the original container. For some reason, that feels more hygienic. Hygienic? I don't know how to words today. After I use this cleanser and I dry my face, I spray this on my face. Um, I got this at PCC. I think it was PCC Market. These go together. So I would spray this facial mist. One, two, three. And then I would put the whipped shea butter, warm it up, and then put it on my ears and the side of my face. So those go together. And then I put this on my whole face, the serum. I feel like it's running low, but you can't tell how much is left in there. So I just bought a new one, new container. Because I know for sure there's gonna be 14 days and more. This one, there could be like five days left. I have no idea. I'll take this one, we'll put this in the bag. Now I put this one on at night. This one's for the day, because it has sunscreen in it. I recently started using this. It's a squa squalin, squalane. I started using this last week. So far it seems hydrating. Let's not forget about this bottle. We gotta fill it up with my best friend. Rubbing alcohol. I've been using rubbing alcohol to clean my phone since like I was 18. So half my life. Alrighty. Now let's test it. Probably gonna work, but... Boom. Perfect. And we we'll put that in there as well. I have my body lotion downstairs, which is the travel version of this. I get this one from Costco. So I use these makeup wipes from Costco and I actually, uh, I just counted it, I think there are like eight, nine sheets left, but I only need like seven. So instead of using a full sheet a day, I rip it in half. So each sheet lasts me two days. Actually, I can fit this into the travel kit. Very snug, but it fits. Right, let's zip it up. Ta-da! So some of this stuff I still do need to use tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'm going to keep these in the bathroom for now. And then tomorrow I'm going to put them in the suitcase. As for makeup, I have this toiletry bag hanging all the time. I basically live out of this toiletry bag. Uh, it's gotten dusty over the years. All right, so I emptied it, shook it out, uh, got all the dust off. So let's pack together. I also took some stuff out that I probably don't need on this trip like these fangs. <laughs> yeah, I got them at the garlic festival in Washington one or two years ago. I'm gonna need my brush. This is my manicure pedicure kit. Uh, let's see, I have a little sewing kit from a Korean hotel that we stayed at years ago. Inside we have a needle and thread. So I usually keep that in the back. This eyeliner drawing show. I've been using this for years. I always keep a spare in my toiletry bag because you never know when you run out. This is my tongue scraper which you don't need to see in detail. Hair ties. I always keep like five in my toiletry bag. They're a little dusty. My acne patches. I don't use this brand of the acne patch. I use Next Care, which I highly recommend and I just like fold it and I put it in here because this gives it more like security. I have been using this packaging for like over five years. I keep my brushes in this. Uh, this one is for my eyebrows. This one is for my cheek if I feel like it. I put this one on first. I might want to wash that. I just washed it with shampoo. We're gonna let that dry overnight. I also gotta pack my retainers, but I need to wear this tonight, so I'll pack it tomorrow. And then I keep tweezers in here. This is the powder that I use, but I'm running low on it. So I bought a new one. And then my eyeliner. This is my eyebrow thingy, pal pomade. So I put my brush, dip it, and then and this is for, what's it called, Bra bronzer, whatever. Bronzer, right? I don't, I, I'm not a beauty vlogger. I don't know words for makeup. I just put it on. It's kind of like doing art, you know? The face is the canvas. 
Okay, so put that in there. And then um, I like to exfoliate when I shower at nighttime. Not every day, maybe every three days. I will feel my skin. If it feels rough, I'll like. So I'm gonna bring this sample size. And tomorrow, after I brush my teeth, I'll pack this and the charger for this. I almost forgot about this small zipped pouch. What's inside? Earplugs. Without the S. Just a singular earplug. I need to refill that. I packed more than enough. Because uh, for those who are sensitive sleepers and who need earplugs, we don't want to be in a situation where we have no earplugs. And then we can't fall asleep. That's my favorite earplug. It's called Heroes. Like here. I highly recommend that one because there are earplugs that are like stiff and it hurts my ears but this one is soft and it's still effective it blocks out a lot of noise let's throw down some essentials matcha whisk that is powered by usb bringing some n94 masks korea sells these masks but why am i bringing them so around this time, starting from like March until I think it was May, there's a yellow dust storm that comes by. So just in case it happens to happen when we're there, I'm gonna bring these masks. Now I heard that in Korea they sell plenty of these, but just in case they sell out near wherever we are staying, I'm bringing these. Get that stretch. I'm gonna pack my husband's stuff. I just told him to lay it on the table. What's your name gonna be, your stage name? My smaller suitcase, I don't use any packing cubes, but with the bigger suitcase, it's very open and everything shifts a lot. So definitely highly recommend packing cubes, the bigger and emptier your suitcases. Like if it had compartments, then that'll be great. That acts as like a packing cube. So one cube is gonna fit all the pants, some jeans. All right, so the mister is bringing two shorts, two jeans, swimming trunks, like seven pairs of underwear. This looks like seven pairs of socks. A hoodie jacket that zips up all the way in the front. One, two, three shirts, three black shirts, and three button-ups. So this bigger suitcase, half of it is gonna be pretty much empty. When I pack this suitcase, it's okay if it's like a little loose. Just like that, easy. Now I'm gonna keep it really loose. Button-ups, um, if I tighten it too much, they get wrinkly. So I'm gonna put these really loose. I mean, it's gonna get wrinkly no matter what but it'll be just a little less wrinkly. So these shirts, I'm just gonna layer. I let my husband know that my aunts is, are telling me it's pretty cold in Korea, but he gets hot easily, so he's thinking he doesn't need like thicker jacket. I'm just gonna stick with this hoodie style zip up thing. I think we should put these guys on the top. No, I think I should fold these once. Just wanna let you know I can be soft on the outside. I'd rather not have to start fight. Fold them half. You don't wanna cross that. Oh, don't try to attack me. Don't try to attack me. Maybe curve it. Yeah, that's good. Oh, actually, he is bringing a slightly thicker jacket. It's kind of a quilted one. In case it is pretty cold when we get out of the flight, I'll make this easy to grab from the luggage. Clip that. Tomorrow morning, I will put husband's toilet tree bag in here. What's great about this small suitcase is it expands. You see? It opens up. 
like an accordion. So if you need more space, especially on your way back from your travels, easy. All right, we got about 45 minutes until the Uber comes. Pack up some last minute stuff, eat breakfast, and go out. Oh, he knows we're going somewhere. So he's really attached and clingy to us right now. Yeah, oh, look, he's like, he knows something's up. He knows, he knows. He saw those suitcases and, oh, oh. I'm gonna miss you too. Oh, look at the cute butt. Look at the cute face. Everything's so cute about you. One more thing I forgot to mention. Turns out I do need this container, one of those circular ones from the travel kit. I'm gonna put working hands in there. So my hands get really dry because I wash them a lot and I craft with them, whatever. This one is moisturizing, but it's not oily. So even if you put it on and then touch things, it doesn't leave a residue. Or at least doesn't feel like it's leaving a residue. And this is what it looks like in the inside. I'm gonna use this spoon thingy that came with the travel kit. Pop it out. And I'm probably gonna keep this container in my personal bag. Because when we're out and about, I'm gonna need to rehydrate my skin, my fingers, my hands, especially my cuticles. Ta-da! All right, all right, so I really love this outfit. This one is so cozy, but it is a light color, and being someone who is accident prone, I might spill something on it, and you're gonna see it. It's a freaking canvas. Um, but I do love wearing this one at home. And then it zips up. I love this collar up here. And then what's interesting is there's a hole on the sleeve, the cuff. And you stick your finger, your thumb through it. Like that. I thought that was a unique design. I didn't know that when I was buying it. Now this next potential flight outfit, if it was more like summertime, I think I'll go with this. And if I plan to work out, this I would bring to the gym. Sporty because Adidas, you know, it's got those stripes. I'm feeling something more cozy, so I'm gonna wear these sweatpants. And sweatpants take a lot of space in the suitcase, so I prefer to wear it. I actually prefer wearing a little bit loose clothing when flying, because it's tight stuff and I just feel icky. Yeah, and then we have the hood. Okay, gotta eat. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Toodles, my noodles. You know, it's been five years since I went to Korea. I cannot believe how fast this half decade has gone by. I used to go every year to film in Korea, and that's why I never had the chance to miss Korea. Because, you know, I have the Sweet and Tasty TV channel fully dedicated to everything Korean. But I think I'm gonna put the Honeymoon series on this channel. I wanna let you know about a little hack. So when I first got this kit, there was a tag thing on one of the sides. And after I took off the tag, it left a sticky residue. And so right now I'm taking a tape and dabbing it on that sticky stuff and it comes right off. It's going away. It's so satisfying. Yeah, cause like with the residue, every time you touch it, it'd get on your finger and it'll be like sticky and thick. But no, it's gone. The strap on the first one, I love the lines. It feels more casual to me and sporty. Okay, so I'm thinking, when we put the strap on the other side, it might not be as noisy. So let's give that a shot. I do really like this bag. Okay, let's walk in it. Seems less noisy when you're wearing it on this side. But I really need to wear it on this other side because my shoulder's messed up here and 
just feels right to have the strap going this way, not this side. By the way, both bags, instead of putting it across your body, you can put it to the side like this. This one as well. All right, so I've got this default list I made years ago on Google Doc. I have to update this. So I have like the default list and I copy and paste this. I duplicate it and then customize it to the trip I go on. There are gonna be some things to add, some things to take out. Because when I made this default list, I made it like five, seven years ago. So there are things that are gonna be, I really can't talk. There are things that have changed over time. So I'm just gonna review this list. Facial clay mask, let's take that off, but I'm gonna add in um, exfoliator. Miss Kitty, in the past when I pack, she loves to jump into my suitcase. And when I close the suitcase, she loves to get on the top as if she's conquering a mountain. For the full outtakes and bonus footage from this video, check out the exclusive vlog number 14 on Patreon. It's 11 minutes long and includes alternative scenes, off-tangent chats, and extended clips of the packing process. Scan the QR code. I also put the link in the description box. And if you're curious about all the stuff I bought, a lot of them I found on Amazon, so I put those links in the description box as well. Haven't had much time for arts and crafts lately, but I did start prepping for my next painting, sketching some basic shapes on the canvas. This will be an abstract landscape done in acrylic paint. For more artsy fartsy updates, follow my Instagram at Creative Chillout. For food, travel, and life, my main Instagram is Miss Mina O. Oh.